Red Peppers is a fantastic play. It takes us back to the days of variety in the 1930s. Back then, the country's top entertainers moved around the country, going from one town to another, one theatre to another, performing their routines to sell out houses. They were the pop stars of the day. They were household names. They earned big money. Noel Coward's play really provides us with a snapshot of what life was like for these variety performers back in the 1930s, both on stage and off stage. In our story, George and Lily Pepper are a husband and wife team. On stage, they sing, they dance, and they tell really bad jokes. They're not a very good act. And in fact, you wonder why they're still doing this after so many years. And then you realize that they do it because it's all they have. Variety is their life. And you know exactly where they're going to be a week from now, a year from now. They're going to be in another northern mill town performing the same routines, having the same arguments, and still complaining about their place on the bill. Well, it's certainly been a challenge for the cast because of the need to perform these 1930s style routines, the song and dance and the, the comedy patter, uh, which was the essence of the act performed by George and Lily Pepper. Now, in the story, they're really a second-rate act, but in order to perform this convincingly on the Questers stage, they have to be pretty good, and it's taken an awful lot of rehearsal to get these routines right, working with uh, a pianist, live in the studio, and also, obviously, with a choreographer. 